Hi everyone, it's Margaret with Creative Stamping with Margaret. I'm here with another Christmas in July project. This is a very quick, easy project uh, to, to make. And as you see, I've made sort of a large gift tag with it. A little bit different from the tags that I showcased in previous videos, but I wanted to make a large tag to go on top of the uh, ombre bags um, that I'll be handing out during the holidays. And this little clip is just a clip that I've had in my stash of supplies. Uh, if you don't have the clips, you could punch a hole, tie a ribbon, run it through the top of the scallop die and tie a bow there. Um, but I'm just wanted for demonstration purposes. Uh, I'm just using this clip to hold, hold the uh, tag in place. But as you see, I have three different layers that, and I have used the scallop contours dies for that. And again, I'm showcasing the tidings and trimmings bundle, which this is in our annual catalog. Let me pull that over. The tidings of Christmas, and that's in the annual catalog on page 89. I'm also using the tidings of Christmas designer series paper. That's the background, um, the second piece. Let me just show you which of these contoured. So this is the scallop contour dies, which are in the annual catalog. And I have used the largest, the next largest, and then the third. So I have stepped down each one and made, um, to make these tags. Don't worry about trying to write down all of the uh, dimensions of paper that I've used or the materials. You'll find all of that on my blog at creativestampingwithmargaret.com. So you'll be able to go there to find the entire materials list. And so I decided I'd used different components on other Christmas in July projects from this stamp uh, bundle. And, but I had wanted this time, I, I had used the stars and then sentiments. So on this one, I wanted to use um, the stocking. So let's get started. So I decided to change the color scheme up just a little. I selected another pattern from the Tidings of Christmas Designer Series paper. I selected basic white as my background piece. Then we'll layer the pieces as such. And I have added dimension to some of these so the first thing, let's go ahead and put the cherry cobbler onto our designer series paper piece. So I'm just using snail, not snail, uh, seal, the stamping seal adhesive to adhere that. But I'm going to use dimensionals for the larger and what I like to do when I have long pieces like this, I will pull off the edge from the dimensionals and just use those edge pieces from our stamping dimensional tab. A lot. And if you're like me, you have a lot of sheets of this where you've saved them, where you've used the all of the dot dimensionals, but you have the outer rim, and that's the this is the perfect time to utilize those. Okay. 
when you have a large piece with a lot of length. It just works perfect. For, and it goes a lot quicker than trying to tear off a lot of backings from all of the little dimensional dots. But we're going to go ahead and get this part assembled. Still have a little backing. Let me pull the couple backings off. We'll get this base put together. And then I wanted to show you a couple things on the stocking. So now, see I told you that would come together quickly. So then I've got my piece of basic white and I'm using the stocking. Do you notice there are two stockings? One has a closed colored portion uh, and a little bit different design of uh, stocking. So they're at the cuff of the top part. The stocking is dark where this one is light. But I'll also give you a tip on how to use a light piece uh, if you wanted to have the darker stocking. So I'm using F Evening Evergreen. So we'll just ink that, stamp that, and see that cuff on that stocking is nice and white. So let's set that aside because it's in the past. I have already cut one using the coordinating dies from the Christmas uh, trimmings die set. I also cut two holly leaves because that adds just that little extra. And so after stamping, I'm using the light evening evergreen. And then I just decided to go in and color in the leaves on the stocking. And it starts off very dark, but as it starts to dry, this light does lighten up some. Or if you wanted, you could use the soft succulent to color in the leaves. Or it actually looks good just as is, but I did want to bring a little bit more color in. So, and as you see, I'm just barely touching these leaves, different little areas. So that looks, let me, there's one here on the heel. So those are, that's taken care of. So we will attach the holly berries and I, or the holly leaves and I am just using our glue dots to hold those in place. And then for the, the berries, I'm using the red rhinestone jewels We'll just place three to three little berries so it's a cluster of holly berries. For attaching that, we'll add a couple of dimensionals on the back. Place this. I'm putting it at an angle as if it were hanging. 
up toward the top portion of the tag because I do want to add a sentiment below. And I'm using the season's greeting sentiment. You could obviously select any sentiment that you want, would like to use to fit inside of that space. You could use the Noel that comes from that. Or, or if you're giving something uh, to one of your neighbors or to someone else, you could use the cheers to our, from uh, our home to yours. But I decided to use the season's greetings. And this is a 3 8 inch wide strip of basic white. And it's leftovers, you know, in my scrap pile from when I've trimmed papers and I had a long piece, so I just snipped off what I thought we would need. And another little tip, when I'm inking up small stamps like this, I like to use my stamping spots. So uh, if you get paper pumpkins, uh, you have probably a collection of stamping spots, but we also, uh, Stamping Up also offers uninked ones so that you could then ink them up with whatever colors you find that you would be using. They're also very handy when inking your, uh, when you're using the, um, oh, I've just drawn a blank on what it's called, but our stamp positioning tool, and I have just had a brain loss on that, but it's great for, for that. And I'm just going to trim these ends off just a little bit more. The Stamparatus. That's what I was trying to think of. It just came to me. But it's great when you have your... Um, stamps on your Stamparatus. And I'm gonna use glue dots, just since this is such a small label, glue dot on each end will hold it in place. See how quick that comes together? And that's so cute. You could use that for not only adding it on, you could put it on a gift you know, run string through it and, and hang it on a, a large gift. Uh, it, as I said, it's perfect to use with the, the ombre bags, the soft succulent. And then, of course, this one is the evening evergreen, so that white against that dark looks great. But uh, in the new uh, mini catalog that you'll be able to order from on August the 3rd, we have craft, little craft boxes in there that have a cutout. These are food safe, so you could fill it with cookies. Tie a ribbon around it, and look, this fits perfect on that. You could tie the ribbon, attach this, and that makes a lovely gift. You could, you know, I said cookies, there's a variety of things you could put inside this little box. Uh, it's a nice size. Also, this would look great on the mini uh, paper pumpkin boxes that you could um, decorate, uh, decorate them. But one last thing before I end this video, I wanted to give you a little tip so as you saw, I used the stamp set that had the white um, cuff on, and the open print on the stamp. I'm going to stamp using the darker one. Let me pull this evening evergreen out again. And you'll notice now that's gorgeous just as it is. This this green, as I said in a previous video, I I love this evening evergreen. I just 
really think you it gives a nice um, color and when it's stamped. But if I did not want to have a green cup, then all you have to do is just stamp, and you don't even have to stamp the whole part of the stocking. You could just, of the other stocking, just ink up the top portion. We'll stamp it. Then just take your paper snips. And snip right around that cuff. We just go right on the outside of it. We'll set that to the side. And you'll just layer that on top. And there we have a colored stocking with a white cuff. Uh, and then if you wanted, you would use the coordinating die. I would not attach that till after I've cut that with the die, with the stocking die. Then I would just take some adhesive and then attach it, put it right on the top. And there we have our stocking with the white cuff. Hope you found that tip valuable and I hope you've enjoyed this project. Thanks for joining me for Christmas in July.